put money Santa in the YouTube video and you get views. You think so? Yeah. So, here we go. So, here's a $2,000 breaker. And we just installed it. How you install it is you put the bus bar together with a 10 millimeter. Right there, you see it? A 10 millimeter socket to get the 10 millimeter in. And then this is a quarter, a quarter inch socket. And then you have your quarter inch socket there or there. And then that's the insulator pad back there that gets in with a regular screw right there. And then that's the other one. So how you, you install the, the lugs first. It's a real simple installation. Uh, and you make sure that these edges here that are cut in are in. See how they're in? And then this is in. I, what I always tend to do is I build these on the breaker first, and then I bring the breaker up here, and I don't screw that in at all, any of this stuff in. And then I come in and I land it here. I land these first. After you land these first, then you tighten these lugs up. Once these are the screws in, then you tighten in the 10 millimeter lug on the inside, which you see with your 10 millimeter. Uh, I recommend one of these. And then you stick it in there like so. And, and it's tightened up. You see that? And then you come with your quarter inch and you stick it in there and then that tightens that up. And then you get your Phillips head, tighten those two up. And then with these lugs, they get tightened up from the back. And I should have showed you that, but there's, a, you need a, a, a 3 16th or quarter inch uh, Allen wrench to put that. Once it's all in, now we're gonna pull our wires to this panel. The previous electrician had this panel being fed by 400 amps with three out wires and not on a parallel feed, which he should have. So now we have a parallel feed to them, which we're gonna bring from a new transformer that's up there and it's gonna feed a parallel feed like this one that they did with LBs and that. And I don't know why they threw the LBs when they could have just ran a straight pipe with some 90s up to flex and then flex into the, to the, whatchamacallit, to the transformer. So we landed, we brought this 400 amp panel It's gonna feed this 200 amp panel it's top fed and it's a 200 amp breaker. Before there were no breakers, they just had it installed, um, the, the three out wire trying to feed 400 amps. Um, so that's what made the, the big problem. The inspector caught that, uh, everyone caught that. And right now the restaurant's not full power, but when it goes full power, that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be a big fail. So now we're gonna pull the wires and get everything in these panels. Alex landed to transformers, uh, 15 years old. He landed a transformer for the first time. So now we're about to finish wiring these panels up and call for an inspection probably tomorrow. And I just wanted to share how you land that Eaton Cutler Hammer Breaker for 400 amps because it was kind of tricky. So I figured I'd give you the, the trick to it is make sure that these are slanted in, and this is one straight. You put two there, two there. Go ahead, put, and now we put the isolator bus bar, the isolator pad on there, Alex. He's gonna put it on, and that comes in with a little plastic bush, to a little plastic knob that goes right there. Show how you did it again, Alex. Put it, you pull it out. It's real easy to take out. I already put it in. You already put it in. We don't want to take it out because we could damage it. But that's the isolator pads that are on there. We get it in there pretty nice. Remember, before you do any of this, as you can see, the main breaker is off that fed this panel. And then that breaker, while it may be online, is no longer, it's no longer feeding anything, so it's off. So we're gonna go off these bus bars, and these are gonna feed now this 200 panel. As you can see, it has no wires on top because it was fed wrong earlier. So. Remember, when you need something done like this, it's very important that you call a real electrician. Don't go to Home Depot and think you're gonna learn how to do this overnight. This is a commercial product. It's, it can be very dangerous, 400 amps could kill you. It could blow up in your face. 
send you to the hospital. Thank you very much. Call a professional. Call Alex.